Our game tells the story of two movies. Uh, Quantum of Solace, the new movie, is actually the first true sequel in Bond movie history. So it picks up about an hour after Casino Royale ended, and our game tells the story of both movies. <gasps> We looked at the at the movie Casino Royale, and then we looked at the script for Quantum Solace, since the movie's not done yet. And we said, okay, what are the great action sequences that we want to that we want to pull out of this and, and give give uh, give gamers that interactive experience, that gameplay experience. Our camera is actually a hybrid between first person and third person. Uh, you run through the game first per as a first you know as a first person shooter, typical type of first person shooter. But also when you come up in a situation where you don't know what's around the corner, or say you're in the middle of a firefight, you need to. You know, take a second to, 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 to gather your thoughts and, and, and figure out tactically which guy you should, where are the guys coming from, which guy should I take out first, you can take cover and, 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 and make those decisions in a safe place. We want the gamer to move as smoothly as James Bond would. It, you know, you, you, you don't get the training that an MI6 agent does to become a double O, but we want you to, to look like you do and look like you have it and, and feel that level of control and that level of fluidity. We're building our, our game on the Call of Duty 4 engine. A few of the things that we're adding on top of this technology is the sense of persistent Bond, that you can take cover combat and you can see Bond on screen, that persistent character, that's a new thing. Uh, our AI system is also a lot more dynamic. We spent, we got four guys working on it right now and have had for the last year. And then the, the last big thing I'll tell you that we're adding to is there's just a lot more going on in the environment now. There's, we've pushed the physics system, we've pushed the destructible system. You will see boss battles in our game. It's another element of the pacing and varied gameplay. There'll be, you know, quick time events similar to like a God of War type of event. It would be fun, certainly, uh, uh, this quick time style event, but it'll also be very cinematic as the Bond movies are. <laughs> Given the history that, that, uh, that gamers remember with Goldeneye, that multiplayer is such a big part of a Bond game, um, yeah, multiplayer is going to be a big part of our game too, and we'll go into more detail later in the year, but yeah, it's a, it's a big part of our game. You know, as well as I do with Bond movies, international exotic locations is, is a big part of what makes up all the Bond movies, and certainly Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace are, 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 are no different. We took a scene that they were shooting, started into our design, and then they end up cutting the scene from the movie. We said, well, this still makes sense for a, for a game, can we do this? And they said, yeah, no problem. If it's fun gameplay space and you guys want to do that, absolutely go ahead. So it's really kind of funny that you get to play a, part, a scene in our game that actually hit the cutting room floor for the movie. You can start to see the, the the glimpses of oh my gosh this is a really cool nugget this is really cool do more of this uh, this other thing's really not working out how do we change this and how do we not do as much of that and there's so much of the game that's really fun so this is quantum assault and we you can expect to see it on the 360 the playstation 3 the pc the wii the nds and the playstation 2 and you can expect to see it uh, tied in with the movie when the movie releases